Happy Valentine's Day from the buzz. Tonight, we're looking local at a sold out Broadway show hitting the Coger Center and a Taylor Swift dance party. Moving beyond the Palmetto State, we're taking a look at the Super Bowl's best and worst moments. And of course, what's an entertainment show without some tea on Rihanna's halftime performance that left her fans shocked? You can catch it all right here on The Buzz. Hello and welcome to The Buzz. I'm Emma Connolly. And I'm Chloe Castain. Let's get into it. Looking locally, Hairspray is currently a musical that is trending all over the internet. There are several audio sounds from the play that have hit the For You page on TikTok multiple times recently. The musical tells the story of Tracy Turnblad, a hopeful performer that wishes to be one of the nicest kids in town on The Corny Collins Show. The play won eight Tony Awards after its 2003 run, so it really is a phenomenal show. The hit musical is sure to be the lady's choice and is making its way to the Palmetto State later this week. The show is all sold out, so you may have missed your chance to see it soon, but keep your eyes on the Coger Center website to see what shows are coming. Some fan favorites that will be hitting the stage later are Jesus Christ Superstar, Legally Blonde, and the classic, Annie. In addition to the Broadway shows hitting the stage, there will be an exciting performance of Bluey's big play in May. We here at The Buzz know that college students have a thing for animated cartoons. So that had to be thrown in. Tickets for all of these shows can be purchased on boxofficetickettsales.com. Calling all Swifties! This Friday, February 17th, there is a Taylor Swift sing-along party in the Vista. Hosted at the Senate in downtown Columbia, Taylor Swift superfans can sing along to all of their favorite songs. The Long Live Tour is traveling to college towns all over America this spring to provide a fun dance party alternative to the era's tour. While Taylor herself won't be there, there will be fun games, photo booths, themed food and drinks, and a Taylor-themed costume contest. Bring all of your girl or guy friends out to enjoy a night full of dancing and your favorite songs. The doors open at 8 p.m. with the party starting around 9. For more information, you can view Ticketmaster.com and search for the event. You heard what's going on locally. Let's talk for a bit about what's buzzing beyond us. Rihanna wasn't the only one performing at the Super Bowl on Sunday night. And I'm not talking about any guest performer. I'm talking about American Sign Language performer, Justina Miles. Miles has captured the attention of millions for her performance of signing Rihanna's Super Bowl halftime show on Sunday. Miles was seen getting into her performance of the show with just as much, if not more, sass and spunk than Rihanna herself. Twitter obviously went wild, with one user writing, quote, loving the spark and energy of Justina Miles, the ASL performer for the hashtag Super Bowl, unquote. Uh, this wasn't Miles' first performance of the night. Miles also signed for Cheryl Lee Ralph's performance of the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice, before the game. And according to the National Association of the Deaf, she's performed renditions of concerts throughout the country. If you want to go check out her performance, I guarantee you, you'll like it just as much as Rihanna's herself. And continuing on to the Super Bowl, who really watches the Super Bowl for the game? Everyone knows it's all about the halftime show and the commercials. This year we saw a lot of top and flop commercials during the game, and Northwestern University Kellogg School of Management is here to rank them for us. Kellogg's first winner was T-Mobile, who featured Grease's John Travolta singing hit song Summer Nights. The song has some slight changes with some new lyrics to highlight the brand. Another one of Kellogg's winners, when my personal favorite, was Kia. The commercial shows a father forgetting his child's binky on their vacation and taking his Kia Telluride off-roading to retrieve it. A saving the day, sort of. It turns out, he didn't grab the right one. Kellogg's also mentioned some flops, including Remy Martin's Cognac and M&M's both having confusing commercials. 
Now, I don't know about you, but personally, I thought both of those last two I mentioned were really, really confusing. Um, but I thought that there were some really, really good uh, commercials at the Super Bowl, too. I think the commercial that made the biggest impact was probably that Tubi commercial. It had people all over the nation confused on whether or not they sat on the remote. No, actually, my roommate um, started screaming because she thought that my other roommate did, in fact, sit on the remote. She's a big football fan, but um, as you can see on TikTok, I saw it. A lot of people were also confused as well. I only watched the Super Bowl for the halftime show, but I'm sure a lot of people were left pretty confused. Yeah, I myself was. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we have for your entertainment news, but don't go anywhere. After the break, Aaron Smith will be sipping and spilling some serious tea. Stay tuned. For Rihanna's performance at this year's Super Bowl halftime show, fans had many speculations for the event. Who will the guest performer be? Will they get to hear their favorite Rihanna songs? But what fans were not anticipating was the announcement of the singer's second pregnancy. Rihanna performed live for the first time in seven years this Sunday during halftime of Super Bowl 57. She featured a 12-song set list and 80 backup dancers. At first glance, her performance seemed to be normal, but when looking closely as the show opens, Rihanna rubs her stomach indicating she is pregnant. Many fans were quick to jump to the idea that this is a pregnancy announcement while others thought people were making inappropriate assumptions regarding the appearance of the singer's stomach. However, on Sunday night, Rihanna's representative, Amanda Silverman, confirmed Rihanna is expecting her second baby with boyfriend ASAP Rocky. This announcement comes nine months after the birth of Rihanna's first child back in May of 2021. Of all the rumors of possible guest performers, Rihanna's unborn baby was an unexpected addition to this year's Super Bowl halftime show. That's all I have for tonight, but stick around because you do not want to miss this week's edition of Bingeworthy, where Emma and Chloe will tell you what to watch after this episode of The Buzz. This week, we couldn't think of a new Bingeworthy show, but that doesn't mean there are no good shows. So we're going to share our favorite TLC and Lifetime TV shows. Now, this idea actually came last week when our producers and I were kind of all talking about uh, what our favorite TV show was. My personal favorite has, uh, hands down, always been Say Yes to the Dress. I think that that's what kind of catapulted uh, my addiction to pinning Pinterest uh, mm -hmm. boards with wedding dresses, but I digress. <laughs> what was yours? I think my favorite would have to be a tie between Cake Boss with Buddy. I mean, it was just such an entertaining, t entertaining show. And I also love Dance Moms because I grew up a competition dancer. And honestly, people will say that it's fake, but it's a lot more similar to real life than you would think it is. Interesting, and I remember you saying uh, last month, couldn't you get some cake from the Cake Boss and Russell? What you were you saying? You could, I think they might still have it, but it was sold right where Mr. Beast Burger is. You could get a slice of the cake straight from New Jersey. Well, wow, Russell's just bringing in all of the uh, old fashioned nostalgic uh, vibes to For our sure. childhood. So that's, that's really good. I mean, I if it's still there, awesome. go ahead and take a look at it. Yes, for sure. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SGTV at USC. And to keep up with all of our content, be sure to also visit us online at SGTVonline.com. Until next time, I'm Chloe Castain. And I'm Emma Connolly. Thanks for tuning in.